Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Friday, January 31st, 2014, and this is the facts of the matter. Standing alone for God in a godless world. A tough but achievable assignment. Noah, like us, lived in a wicked society, victoriously, and so can you. God's assessment of Noah's life. You alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this generation. Genesis chapter 7 verse 1. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. The Lord was painfully aware of society's blatant sins and sex and violence dotted the landscape as it does ours. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great on the earth and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. Genesis chapter 6 verses 5 and 6 Living amidst this decadence, Noah stood up and was counted. Noah found favor in the eyes of God. That, he, that is, he was pleasing to God. Genesis chapter 6 verse 8 But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah was a righteous man, that is, he was lawful and just before God. Genesis chapter 6 verse 9 These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just and perfect man, just man and perfect in his generation, and Noah walked with God. Noah was blameless in his time, that is, he lived a life of integrity before his fellow man. Again, Genesis chapter 6, verse 9. Noah walked with God. That is, he and God were con conversant. They had a relationship. Again, chapter 6, verse 9, Genesis. Standing alone for God is tough, but, achieve but achievable assignment which God expects us to accomplish. We stand alone for Jesus Christ every day in this godless world. And it's getting more and more godless as the days go on. They, the soft porn they allow at the Grammys and all these award shows, the soft porn that they allow on the television the hatred that it flows freely in the air you can see it everywhere with all of the school shootings mall shootings all of the evilness of the world is becoming more and more abundant and you hear about it so much more. Even in our small little city here that's getting to be just as bad as Cleveland. The, the love of man has waxed cold. Are you standing for God in a godless world? Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, today is the perfect time to know Him. Cry out to Him. Ask Him to become your Savior. Ask Him to forgive you, to accept you, and love Him. I love you guys. God bless.